All right. Trying out this problem called group anagrams. Given an array of strings, group the anagrams together. We can return the answer in any order. An anagram is a word or phrase found by rearranging letters of a different word or phrase, typically using all original letters exactly once. So, for example, here, this is an array of strings, and then you're returning a list of list of strings where bat doesn't have any other anagram. Nat and tan both were present, and so they are here. And then eight, eat, t are anagrams. Okay. Empty string, empty string, a a. So we process this list. And the way to process this list would be for each string, you need to add a count of all the 26 characters, I guess, right? And then you check when you get another other string whether uh, the same count of each character has occurred before or not. Fair enough, and if it has, then you add it there, otherwise you add it here. Hmm. So, if we walk through with it, I'm sure there might be, I'm not sure, but there might be a better solution, but, so I process eat, and when I process it, I get a occurs one, e occurs once, and t occurs once. That's what I get. Then I process t. Okay, and then what I do is, there are a few more things that I do with this information, right? Where do I save this info, and how do I save it? So I save it like something like, uh, hmm, that's another important aspect. Yeah, like if you save it in dictionary, what is the key and what is the value? Because for t also, I will get a equals to one, e equals to one, and t equals to one. But now the question is, how do I know, hey, there is already another guy with the same counts of a, e, and t? That has to be the uh, like that has to be the key somehow. Okay, <laughs> there is a bad approach, uh, which is you can sort them, and then you can, after sorting, you can compare it. So the so this. A set could be you sort and add, right? So E you sort and then you add it. T you sort it and then check if that sorted guy is present in the dictionary or the hash set or the. And if it is, yeah. And so you can have a dictionary. Fair enough. So, so let's let's try that approach first. So, oopsie do. Uh, with every element I'm sorting. So it's n times each element I'm sorting and whatever is the maximum size of log n. Okay, fair enough, I understand your problem, but uh, let's try and implement it regardless. Can strings be an empty array? No, fair enough. So you define a list of list of string call it list new array list okay and go through each string for each string in strings
fair enough. Now, I want to do is want to sort it. Uh, how do I sort a string in Java? I mean, I can make it a carrier and sort it, but uh, sort string Java. Okay, this one is to carry, otherwise there is a sort method. Okay, I don't see, I only see an arrays dot sort, fine. So I'll use that itself, son. Fair enough, so you get this order string, and all you do is add, add a map of uh, string and uh, list of string. Right, and now if uh, map dot key um, list no no sorted then you just do map dot cat so you get a list in that list you add the string L Map dot put. This will be the key, and value would be new. not sorted but rather string and uh, I call it just new list okay so this is done and then you return map not map return your list okay and good <sighs> cannot find symbol white type not allowed here What is this nonsense? Okay. So I get uh, 
carry I just hope that this array is uh, mutable. What? Oh, I'm just trying. Oh yeah, of course I'm just trying because when you add this new list, uh, you also have to add it to this. Okay, submit. Let's see if it meets the time considerations. Oh, it does, and it seems to be pretty good then. All right then. <laughs>